Welcome to Computer Tech TV. My name is Rick Arter. In today's video, I'd like to cover a company by the name of Tylera. And they are basically going to launch a 100 core processor. Yes, that's right, a 100 core processor. Well, they aren't going to launch it right off the bat. They're actually going to launch a 36 core version here coming in July, and then a 64 core and the 100 core variant due by early 2012. Now, basically, what these CPUs and motherboards that support them are basically going to be for is mostly cloud computing and uh, other things like database applications like NoSQL, in-memory databases, data mining chores like HADOP and video transcoding. Now, they basically are claiming to deliver a tenfold performance per watt advantage over the Intel Sandy Bird CPUs by ultimately reducing the total cost of ownership by around 50%, which is amazing to hear, especially if you're doing cloud computing and stuff like that where you need lots of cores to do all kinds of applications. Now, I find this quite nice to see that there's other companies out there that are pushing for making CPUs and such, no matter what the market is, whether it's the desktop you know, enthusiast market or, in this case, a cloud computing uh, server type market. It's always nice to see um, more competition because that will actually drive price down. A quote here from the article, they say, the reason that we can go against Sandy Bridge architecture is Intel's range was designed for general purpose applications, so it has to account for single threaded performance and PowerPoint performance and Windows. What we're targeting here is the very specific high throughput application. If we compare our chips to Sandy Bridge and the standard enterprise applications, we won't do well. So as you can see there, these chips are definitely not designed for your average desktop computer. So thinking that we're going to see 100 core or 36 or you know even whatever 64 core processors here on our desktop market anytime soon, very unlikely. But if you do any kind of cloud computing or anything that has to do with databases or anything that's uh, in the hardcore server market, this is definitely something that you might want to check out because it looks like they are going to pretty much be leading the way as far as competition against the Sandy Bridge processors or the new AMD processors that are made for the uh, server markets. So uh, if you guys would like to see more about this, I'll post the links in the description box below so you guys can check out the articles themselves. They actually have a picture here of what the CPU is going to look like as well as the socket and some more information that I uh, didn't go over in the video for the sake of time. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. More videos to come. You guys have a great day.